Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. In this episode, I'll discuss short-acting opioid dose titration tips for inpatients with uncontrolled acute pain. If I feel the opioid dose should be increased, I generally follow these guidelines. For moderately uncontrolled pain, I'll increase the dose of short-acting opioid by 25 to 50 percent, and for severely uncontrolled pain, I'll increase the dose by 50 to 100 percent. You can reassess for further increases in a few hours rather than waiting until the next day. To decide whether to increase the dose by 25, 50, or 100%, I'll also evaluate the patient's risk for respiratory depression and oversedation. The main risk factors for respiratory depression I look for are concurrent benzodiazepine or other sedative medication use, sleep apnea, obesity, as a surrogate measure for sleep apnea, COPD, smoking as a surrogate measure for COPD, and advanced age. If the patient has risk factors that concern me, I use two strategies to maintain safety. One, I'll titrate in smaller increments, like only 25% increases. It's just easier to do that and then give more than it is to try and take it back. And two, I'll use continuous pulse oximetry. This is a cheap and non-invasive strategy that should be able to be done anywhere on any unit in the hospital. Members of my Hospital Pharmacy Academy have access to the masterclass training on the safe and effective use of opioids in ICU patients. To learn more, go to PharmacyJoe.com academy.